Hi there. Let's look at the following three questions in English. Do you speak Danish? You speak Danish, right? You don't speak Danish, right? In Danish, we can do a similar thing. We can make similar sentences. But if we look at the word right, which we used in number two and three in the English sentences here, then we have to choose between two different words in Danish. And then if we want to answer these questions with yes, I do, then we also have to choose between two different words for yes in Danish. Do you know already what I'm talking about? Otherwise, let's look at it together. Welcome to Mixed Languages. I am Mick. So, let's look at it right away, these questions. Let's look at the simple, the most simple question first. Danish questions are, like in English, starting with the verb. In English, do you speak? Do is a verb. In English, you have this do you speak, so you have two verbs. Danish, you just have tailor du dansk, right? Tailor du dansk. And then we can answer, yes, I do. Yeah. Ja, yeah, die gör ja. And then let's take the second question with the right. You speak Danish, right? Du taylor dansk, ik. So here we turn it around like in English. We have the subject first, you, du. Du taylor dansk, ik. So the ik is here the same as in English. And if we want to answer this question with yes, I do, now we have to say yo. Yo ja. So we have yeah as an answer in the first question and yo in the second question. And why is it that we use yo? It's very simple. When the question includes the word ik or another negative word, like for example, aldri, never, then the answer cannot be yeah. It has to be yo, right? So, du taler dansk ik, yo de gør ja. And now the third question with the not in the question itself. Du taler ik dansk vel. Du taler ik dansk vel. So now we have to use the word vel because we cannot use ik twice. We cannot say du taler ik dansk ik. Where we had ik in the second question, we cannot have ik here. We have to use vel now, right? So when the question, when we have this question with right in the end, we have Normal word order, normal sentence order from normal statements, which means subject first. Du, Taylor, ik, dansk, vel. The ik in the question itself forces us to use vel. Du, Taylor, ik, dansk, vel. And now the answer, what's the answer? Is it yeah or yo? It is yo because we have ik in the question, right? Yo, the gør ja. Let's take one more run with another example. And why don't you see if you can already answer correctly whether we use yo or yeah, whether we use ik or vel for the right part. Let's try it. So let's take mm, the example, does she have a boyfriend? Does she have a boyfriend? Normal question here, ha hun en kæreste? Ha hun en kæreste? Again, starting with the question with the uh, verb. Normal question, start with the verb in Danish, in English as well. Does she? Ha hun en kæreste? And what is the answer? Is it yeah or is it yo? Yeah. Ja, det har hun. Ja, det har hun. Ha hun en kæreste? Ja, det har hun. Now the second one, which in English was, she has a boyfriend, right? Hun har en kæreste, ik. Hun har en kæreste, ik. Right? So here again, we have the ik in the end. We have Hun first, the subject first, then the verb. Hun hein kaste ik. And then we have the answer. Yes, she does. What word do we use here? Yeah or yo? We use yo. Yo de hahun. Hun hein kaste ik. Yo de hahun. And the third one. She doesn't have a boyfriend, right? Yes, she does. Hun ha ik non kaste vel. Hun har ikke nogen kæreste, vel? Here we can use nogen, which is any in English. We could also say without. Hun har ikke en kæreste, vel? But nogen sounds kind of better. Hun har ikke nogen kæreste, vel? Right? Vel has to be used here because we already have ik in the question itself, in the sentence itself. Hun har ikke nogen kæreste, vel? And, yes, she does. Jo, det har hun. Jo, det har hun. That was a neat little short video. 
I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. To practice this, why don't you make up some questions and then take it through all of these three different forms with the answer as well with the yo and the question with ik and vel and also the first question, the normal question with the verb first. Try and find whatever question that comes to your mind and make it in these three forms. Answer with yes. And if you want to write it down here so I can correct this topic of today or if there's something else in the sentences that are incorrect I will correct it as always. So I recommend you to do just that. Write it down here or just do it orally. Just do it in your mind or speak it out loud. But practice it, right? Don't just hear me talk about it and then forget it. Tak for nu og tak fordi du giver videoen en like. Be safe.